Hi Hi guys, how's it going? We did again together. Hi guys. I do hi guys and then you'll say the rest. Okay. Welcome to Live and Give 4x4. We are Fabian and Isabella and together we travel the world since over three years in our wonderful 4x4 truck with our two doggies, Pasco and Uni. Hi guys! Hi guys! Today we're gonna show you our garage. The last video you saw where we are in quarantine yeah. in Tanaru. And now in this video today we decided to clean our garage after three years full-time traveling. We have something uh, that we say, well, everything that is not touched at six months, we kick out, right? Yeah. So we try to see what we have to kick out and give to charity and what comes along with us towards South America after this quarantine is over. So today, the theme is going to be what's in our garage. Yep. <laughs> so there we are. We just emptied the back. So again, for the people who are interested in how it looks empty, that's how it looks like. I mean, all those you will see when we strap it back. Um, this we built here uh, for our table and chairs. We put a lot of airline, airline things. Here's our water outlet. And here goes to the batteries. What you see here is uh, again our 24 volt uh, to 12 volt converter. So when we drive, uh, we charge also our Reliant batteries. This here we created that extra uh, in uh, Nevada, thanks George, if you remember. Uh, we created a bike stand outside and I wanted to have an electric 12 volt winch. So this cable goes actually on the back right here and uh, I can plug it in and then the 12 volt winch runs. And here's the remote to leave it up and down so I can handle my bike by myself. But when I'm not using it, it's all not plugged in and no one can mess around with the bike on the back. So we have that, and this is usually up here behind the box. So you see here, we have a 230 volt um, plug and a 12 volt plug. The 12 volt plug we usually have the last two years, a Dometic cool box. This is plugged in here and it's always parked here. So that's why we have those straps. And here, this is new for us. Uh, we just did that in the quarantine break 2020. This cable, thanks Tyler from Guzzle H2O, our water filter system is from him. He made a long cable. So I have this Guzzle stream. Uh, you saw that we can basically filter water from any creek, any river, anywhere except salt water. Um, we can filter that before it comes in the tank. Also, we can filter it when we have a spigot from a, a house and we are not sure if that's good water. Like here, they basically told us you shouldn't drink it. So we put this in between the filter, the stream. So we have usually lithium batteries in the stream, in the box, but this cable is now hooked to my big battery pack. So this is long enough for me to just say, oh, I'm totally empty. And it takes approximately, people asked, I tested it once, uh, it takes approximately 40 minutes for 400 liters, which is uh, 40 minutes, 45 minutes for a uh, hundred gallon of water filtered in my tank. And then we use that battery because it's much more convenient with solar, you know, I just plug it in and that's it. This is also here. Yeah, that's how it looks like. On the other side, it looks like that. Here's our big water tank behind, 400 liters, which is 100 gallon. And here we have our oven normally. Here we have our surfboards, the foldable inflatable ones. And uh, yeah, that's how it is. Looks here in the back. And then more storage. Here's the outside shower. And we have more storage in here. This is basically under the bed or basically where you can sit where the big hatch is and that's the front of the vehicle. It's toilet above the bathroom makes sense. Shower is behind here. Sleeping room here. Here's our motorcycle. We built this stand in Louisiana. doing? I'm cleaning the insides before we put everything back to take the dust 
and all the things. And because it's so hot, we put the fan from the house. Garage clean. Now it's only the carpets that will come in. Now let's go inside and let's see what is inside the garage. <laughs> This is all what fits in our garage. Exactly. <laughs> so we have, we can start right here. We have our six super boxes, which we got from a butcher in Germany. That's German butcher yeah. uh, boxes. And Isabella marked it nicely and wrote what's in there. So I don't know. We have all kinds of things. Because we travel full time, we have winter and summer clothes with us all the time. Then right now that we are in Mexico is pretty hot, then we only use it summer clothes and all the winter clothes go in those boxes. So we also have a box for spare parts yeah. um, and some tools and then we have sports which is very important for us, especially <laughs> after this quarantine. Yeah. Uh, we have already a, surf, a surfboard on top of the roof of course, mm -hmm. but we have all the, the wetsuits and everything, we have found a spot. But here is more applicable, I don't know if you guys saw some video of us, but we have snorkeling, you saw already a lot of us going. Fishing gear I see. Yeah. We have... Uh, From Canada. Exactly. Beautiful fish. <laughs> we have also fishing rod here obviously. And uh, yeah, let's just say, we also have here the helmets for our motorcycle. So we have to, in this bag we have all our uh, clothes for the motorcycle. Our Guzzle H2O water filter system, which is really important since a couple of months for us. Um, so we can fill water, fresh water, wherever we are, and it is filtered. We have a little toolbox here. Here we have um, a box it's, uh, with belts and, and, and ropes and everything, and some cables, extra cables, extra 12 volt cables and mm -hmm. stuff. Here, what important is hammock? That we love it so much. Yeah, it, it looks really small and tiny, it is, but it's for double, it's a double hummock, so we yeah. fit the two of us. <laughs> and the good part is, um, I think a hummock, everybody should have a hummock on the yeah. board, right? Sure. So I think the good part. It's part of the camping experience. The good part with this one, this is for mosquitoes. So you can have this one and then this one on top, and it doesn't let mosquitoes in. So that's cool. Um, of course, I, when I started, four or five years ago with the surfing thing. I'm not a skateboarder, but this is a carver. So sometimes I use that one to just practice a little. And uh, yeah, for my sake, the basketball. I love playing basketball. He is good. And uh, yeah, there it's we nice. go. Nice. And uh, we have that, but we let the air out when we travel, usually. Um, then here we have High Point. I mean, greetings to Newfoundland. To our friend, he gave this uh, bag. It's a waterproof bag. They usually do some other stuff, but he created that bag for us. Thank you. Um, yeah. Then we have here in this box we have a little fire campfire place, which we created. Maybe you see that in another video how we did it. Mm -hmm. It's a pretty cool thing. Stuff. Yeah. Normally in this box, the blue box, what I do is all the products that we buy. That is like big bottles for cleaning glasses, for dishes, washer and all that, soap for cleaning clothes, everything that is big goes here and I always have a little bottle inside of the truck with me on the kitchen, on the bathroom, that's make like easier, that I need to carry all those big bottles inside of the truck, they stay on the garage. Then we have here our ropes, uh, just in case we get stuck, most of the times we put it on other trucks and we help other people, so you can <laughs> see that in some videos. <laughs> <laughs> so this is called shackle. So this is pretty pretty cool because you can just put it on the hitch. This is the hitch and then you don't destroy the truck or whatever you pull or your own truck. Yeah. So we have a couple of those. Uh, we have an oven. This is our gas oven. I uh, love it. For outside <laughs> because we don't have one inside. Yeah. So we carry that outside and we have an outside plug so we can cook outside. Um, and this little thing here is nice. We have only as a spare is a heating, electric heating. If somehow our heating Collapses. Yeah, collapses. This is the solution for us. It never happened and yeah. it hopefully will never happen, but this is a pretty cool thing. You plug it in and then it's immediately hot. You all here we have water shoes, obviously. Yeah. We have our paddle boards, stand up paddle boards. Um, yeah, from uh, Airthouse. 
Thank you to Montana. <laughs> he hooked us up with that. Uh, we have two of them. Here are the paddles to it. Also tiny. Well, we mentioned already the fishing rod. It's the second one. Uh, one broke already in Baja. A big fish on it. Now it was actually a rock. <laughs> but uh, yeah. And yeah. Uh, here we have our camping chairs. Yeah. Here's another leftover suit. Yeah, also a table that we don't use so much, but we have in case that we want to be outside. Exactly. There is also those two big bags here, is the sleeping bags from Sea to Summit that we have. When we go hike or sleeping outside of the truck, we have an option to use those. Also those are very cool, it's also from Sea to Summit. And those are when we go to Germany, Spain, when we need to travel to a hotel, a house, and we need to bring some stuff with us. Those are the ones that we use it all the time. And you can have them as a backpack. Yeah. And as a normal bag, you can hook this up as a normal bag, strap. Um, and they're waterproof, so that's pretty cool. Yeah. And here is our lovely and amazing Box. Yeah, from <laughs> Dometic, uh, we, we had to take this size um, because it fits, like you see in this video, our garage. And uh, it fits perfectly because you can open the lid only so far in our garage. So that's why we had to take the little one. But we use it, it's pretty cool, we use it as a freezer, so minus yeah. zero degrees. It's always minus degrees and we can freeze meat, everything what And we I need. usually recommend for any person that's going on a world trip like we are doing to have a place a bigger freezer box because you go fish, you go to supermarkets that the portion is so big and better price if you buy the bigger package. Then because of the freezer box we can save money, then I do recommend for any person. Yeah. Here's my jack, if you believe it or not. This big truck. Little ten pounds. This is pretty heavy, believe me, but this is the jack that came with Mercedes, so that's all we have. Um, I know that some of you out there say, well, they, those guys are pretty risky, they are not prepared, but trust us, everywhere on this planet when we had problems so far, and we have tire videos, tire How can tire you say we are not prepared? Look at that. Yeah, we are prepared. <laughs> we don't need so much because there are people all over, and that's what helps. Like, uh, if you're really stuck, of course, you have to have the emergency stuff, but then you maybe change a tire and then you fix it somewhere else. So that's what we did in Newfoundland. In the middle of nowhere, we had a flat. Mm -hmm. We found, uh, lucky enough, a garage in the middle of nowhere. So we changed the tire. Two days later, we went to a big city and we finalized it. So, yeah, we are, this is what we take in the garage. That's not the whole truck, but that's what we have in the back because people are asking what you bring. So this is it, and I think, yeah, this cover a little, there is things, most of the things are really important, other things is we want to take with us, and yeah, for living full time, this is everything that we own. <laughs> That's alright, and everything, everything that we, we now said we, we give away, we have a pile over there behind this camera, yeah. um, that we're going to donate, uh, we're here in Cancun, Mexico, and right now in the crisis it's pretty hit hard. So we're going to give this stuff, uh, the owner of the house, she has a friend that takes care of this stuff, so we just give it to yes. them and they will give it to the right people. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I guess that's yeah. it. For you guys that's it, but for us, now the work starts because we have to put all that stuff back in this little hole. And we know the organization a little, but yeah. I know usually it's a fight between us who yeah. takes some Because we always where... wanted to optimize the space and he has one idea, I have my idea, then... <laughs> so, I don't know. So we have those things here. This is the carpet. So you saw you saw already the the inside, and we have all those Schienen, those airline uh, stuff. What Isabella and me don't know the English word for. And yeah, there it is. So we cut this back in Germany. <laughs> this is gonna be in there just to make it more to protect the floor. to protect the floor to not have it so noisy. Yes. So we're going to put that in right now, I guess, yeah. in the heat, and Ooh. see you then later. What are you doing? Fixing the carpets now in the garage. So because this is Isabella style. Duct tape on the base, <laughs> and then it's not moving because sometimes when we break, everything can go, for, can move, and now like that is everything.
done. Done. So, there we go. Now it's time to put the, we call it the white box because it's a white box. It's filled with our oils and, uh, you know, some spare parts again. So I have this here and that. And again, one dollar IKEA for tightening. Box is coming. There we go. And also an IKEA box. You can still see the name here. <laughs> Anyways, that's the box. And this is how we how we tighten it. There we go. And nothing moves. Box closed. Nothing moves. So a little addition. We have this one, and look at that. It fits perfectly above here and it's a rubber so it takes away when we are on bumpy roads and why we use that I mean it's clear for doing dishes outside which we never do <laughs> but uh, there you go when I was fishing uh, we put the fish in there and Dempster Highway that was a lovely experience by the way I think I caught six fish by throwing ten times so that was my highlight. Uh, and so this is where the fish was in. And yeah, it's, it's just quite handy to put water when you're on the road outside. Then it's gonna be right here. Boom, done. All right guys, now it's time to show you our cool box. So what's good about this cool box from Domatic, we use it as a freezer, first of all. We just used it now in the house a long time with 110 in the house just to cool our, you know, uh, drinks and everything. And in the truck, I'm gonna use the 12 volt. So two, I think one and a half years or something, we run it full time, 24 seven, freezing is a freezer we use it and no problem. So it's really good. Okay, enough talking. I'm just gonna get the thing. There we go. So it's gonna be right here. And with this stripe, I'm just gonna put it around. We have a hook here and a hook there, and I'm gonna go once around, and this thing is not gonna move. And when I talked about size, we have to take this size because that's how we reach. This is you know, on the bottom. So unfortunately, we didn't fit a bigger size. When you create a rig like that, the freezer fridge space, it can't be big enough. <laughs> that's important, all right. It was worth cleaning out. We, feeling wise, we just said Isabella and me, we have a little more space. So check it out. Garage, one side. And here we have the other side. Let's switch on the light, maybe better. So here's the oven. On top we have the helmets. We need them still. Here's my motorcycle boots now that it doesn't bang around, our chairs. And yeah, that's it for the back, for the quarantine. So thanks for watching. See you when we see you.